live from my toilet. This is probably very confusing for you. The best ideas and thoughts of mine come to me when I am sitting upon my throne. I was taking a massive shit and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel like right now. Literally as I'm sitting on the toilet. So like what better way to kick off this YouTube video than where I spend most of my time and that is in the bathroom. So with that being said, I was like, Ooh, what kind of video am I gonna do today, you know? I'm going to get ready for this businesswoman thing that I have tonight, like a little dinner party. And then I'm gonna give you a tour of my apartment because it's time and you're welcome. Because I did decide right here, right now that I was gonna start a YouTube channel while sitting on the pot, I had to run out half naked in my apartment in front of my windows where there are construction people. They all probably saw my bare butt cheeks. That's not the point of this video. I grabbed my tripod and it is currently just sitting on my bathroom floor holding my phone. So I'm dedicated and I'm in this now. What I have to, I literally can't do this half. Anyways, like I said, let me wipe and then I'm gonna put together a fit I'll walk you through the process of my, this is gonna be just one of the worst YouTube videos you have ever seen in your entire life, so please be prepared. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up and wipe my butthole. I need to take a shower, check out these stubbles. The top that I'm wearing tonight is a tank top, so I don't wanna poke somebody's eyes out with this. And I probably smell, but that's nobody's business. Also, I just got back from a five mile walk and I got coffee halfway through and I literally instantly almost crapped my pants. Hence why I was on the toilet in the beginning. But for the duration of the walk, I had to literally walk with my gut hanging out because if I attempted to suck it in, then I, it would have been game over for me. I would have crapped my pants. I would have literally sharded. I would have had to walk with poop pants. Imagine. Anyways, I'm gonna go shower. I smell less bad. And there's less hair on my armpits. I do have an ingrown hair right here, so don't stare too hard. I'm hungry. Well, obviously I took a little snack break and made a ham and cheese. Let me not talk and eat my food. Let me show my mannerisms. Anyways, let me pick out my outfit really quick, even though it's not really picking out because I already know what I'm gonna wear. Fun fact, this is my nice clothes closet and this is my ratty clothes closet. You're not allowed to look in there. In this black faux leather skirt, the amount of times I have almost flashed you. And this tank, these boots, I'm doing all black. In my brain, I feel like this will work. Hopefully it does. So by no means do I hate this outfit. I'm not obsessed, but I don't hate it. Like I just, I'm, it's it's a it's an outfit. I need more. I need more. I just feel I don't know. The skirt, it just needs like a coat or something. Give me a second. What can I say? I know how to do clothes. I know how to put clothes. I know how to. I, yeah, I feel very businesswoman. I feel like I should be telling people what to do and I should be running a full business. And, ooh. I feel like if you put your arms in the sleeves, it makes it way more street wary. Like I feel like I should be walking down a random alley in like New York, maybe. Anyways, I'm gonna put on two more outfits that I have envisioned in my brain because I feel like they could surpass this. All right, this is the second choice. Um, the layering is what gets me. I feel wide, I feel very wide. And at the end of the day, I know I'm gonna be insecure in this, even though I wear it like three times a week. I just don't think it also fits the vibe of dinner party, dinner party. Like this doesn't sit with that. It was a good envisionment. I don't think envisionment is a word, but I used it and I cannot take it back. So we're gonna move forward. I don't know if this is what I shall be wearing tonight. Next, okay, this is the third and final fit. I just feel kind of like a grandma. I think it's like the pom-poms on this thingy. Yeah, it's like, I just don't feel dinner party -y. Dinner party and these also do not correlate. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear. It's too baggy, like the bagginess of the boot, the bagginess of the slip dress, the bagginess of the overcoat thingy. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. So I was really wanting to go with something super neutral, very low key, but I think I have to whip out the traffic cone dress today. This screams dinner party. 
It is, it is screaming, literally. It's very bright, very vibrant, and very loud. So this is what I am wearing today, I guess. It is the polar opposite of what I wanted, but what can I do about it? I have never filmed a get ready with me before, so I'm just gonna ramble about things until I have completed my makeup. Also, the lighting's probably horrible, and quite frankly, I don't give a shat, so I hope you can deal with that. This is approximately three years old, so very expired, but I still wear it because there's still stuff left in the bottle. I wanna discuss what's important in today's world. The fact that we don't openly talk about taking shets yet. That's still looked down upon and I don't get it. Everyone poops. Everyone and their mothers poop. Why is it embarrassing to talk about? I really don't get it. Same thing with farting. Everyone farts, we all, we all fart. Why don't we talk about it? Why is it gross? Lord, it's annoying. It's annoying to me because quite frankly, my sense of humor also revolves around poop jokes. So I really would enjoy it if the world would embrace that. I threw up in my mouth just a little bit. One of the most asked questions that I get on my TikTok and in my Instagram DMs is how do I stay motivated for my workouts? I'm gonna state right here and right now, if you have a healthy relationship with you in the gym, you won't need motivation to go. If you have to pry yourself to the gym, you need to rethink every reason as to why you're walking in there. So for me, I walk in because I know I can leave if I don't wanna be there. If I go to the gym and I have all this energy, I'm gonna use it to its potential. But if I go to the gym and I have no energy, I can just leave. No one's holding me hostage there. You don't need motivation to go. You just, you just go and if you hate what's going on, you leave and you try again tomorrow. So that I guess is a form of motivation, I don't know. I don't know, but that's how I've been able to go consistently for five years. My brows be looking weird. Oh wow, they're looking very weird. Oh wow. Oh wow, how do I fix this? Ugh, it's not that it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm not gonna think about it. I would also like to mention or state, I'm gonna state, I do not follow anyone within the fitness community. Nobody asked why, but I feel like explaining. Why do I feel like explaining? I don't know. Believe it or not, I compare myself to literally every person that walks by. I am the most insecure little biatch you will ever meet. I just put up a front that I'm very confident. You fake it till you make it, literally. So I followed a few fitness Instagram accounts and I realized it was doing more damage than good to be following them because I was like comparing myself to these women who are like jacked and like super lean and I'm like, ooh, I wanna be lean like that. And then I realized it turned into this really toxic mentality. I am firm and grounded in my relationship with the gym, but like seeing other people's relationship with the gym, I'm like, why doesn't mine look like that? So if you've been following my TikTok, you know that I'm all for it. You show up to the gym, you do what you can and you leave. You don't show up with the plan, you work out with the potential and the energy that you have. So say you show up and you feel like you could climb a mountain, you climb that mountain. Say you show up and you have zero energy. You don't force yourself to work out. You do what you can with the energy that you have and you leave. Because you always have tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. You don't have to go out of your way to do this extravagant workout whenever you really don't feel like it. Because like I have stated, you have time. You need to learn to develop a healthy relationship with the gym. And if you're forcing yourself in the gym, you're not gonna develop a healthy relationship. And then over time, you're gonna resent the gym. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I'm also talking too much and not doing my makeup, so I'm gonna- Shut up. Oh, this is- yeah. My makeup and hair is complete, and I will now begin the apartment tour. So this is my favorite part of the whole apartment, this wall, for no reason. Moving on. For whatever reason, I feel the need to start in the kitchen, so let us begin. So this is my favorite part, the dining room. I do lots of businesswoman things here, including eating lunch, dinner, and breakfast, in that order specifically. It's 
flows together, which I'm obsessed with. My favorite part of these two rooms is this specific spot where I'm standing because of the squeak. You can't find that anywhere else. my first ever YouTube video. It could potentially be my last YouTube video as well. You never know. I don't know how to properly close out one of these, so I'm just gonna say go follow my Instagram. Or else. Go follow my TikTok. Or else. Like and subscribe to this channel. Or else. You all have a great night. I feel like this will be a good like thumbnail. Thank you for bearing with me. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Bye.